Hi, Arna K here to perform or demonstrate how to perform a proper kettlebell workout. This is called the dynamic kettlebell workout, or kill kick. We're going to start off with kettlebell thrust. To perform the kettlebell thrust correctly, bring elbows adjacent one another and thrust upwards towards the sky using momentum from lower body and perform 25 repetitions, exactly like this. Let's go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop shooting. Notice the camera when you bring your elbows inward, keeping it contracted towards the pec muscles and from that motion, using the entire range of the shoulder joint and shoulder muscles to go upwards, rotating upwards. Let's go. Seven, eight, nine, and he's creating a lot of momentum coming from the lower body. So it's an entire body workout. 10, 11, come on, faster, 25, 12, turn your hands, 13, 14, 15, turn your hands as if you're going to give me a high five, 16, there you go, 17, 18, good, 19, fight through it, I know it's burning, 20, up, 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 use your legs, 21, your legs, legs, 22, higher, extend, 23, keep it up now, 24, turn your arms, 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 25, good job. Upon completion of the kettlebell thrust, we're going to transition into a 25 two-arm kettlebell swing, working entire range of movement keeping the arms straight and spine linear, using the spring action generated in the thigh region to move weight upwards. Let's go. Chin up, 25. One, two, extend your arms. Three, there you go. Four, five, good. Six, seven, send your hips through, hips through. Eight, nine, 10, 22, chin up, chin up, 23, good, 24, one more, all the way up, 25, good, great. After completion of the 26th repetition of the kettlebell swing, we're going to go in bend over rows into the kettlebell. To perform these, we're going to bend over and slightly bend the knees to create flexion in the knee joint and raise chin upwards. Then we're going to extend the arms, keeping kettlebells horizontal to one another and then perform bent over rows movement, contracting the back muscles, rotating arms while moving kettlebells towards the body for a total of 25 repetitions. Exactly. Bend your knees, chin up. Let's go. One, two, good. Three, four. Notice that he's keeping his chin up, his spine is linear, his knees are bent, and his weight is supported by his thighs and his glutes. Eleven. 22, 23, 24, 25, good. To conclude the kettlebell sequence, place kettlebells adjacent one another and perform 25 close grip kettlebell push-ups, going through entire range, chest all the way down to the kettles, then back up into full arm extension. Exactly like this. One, two, extend all the way, three, four, five, stop. Notice that his arms are close grip, so he's really already, just from the initial position, contracting the pec muscles, going down, go down, engaging the tricep muscles, keeping his core linear, using core stability and core strength to keep his body from touching the ground and then raising back up. Go six, seven, eight, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, great. And that's the conclusion of this kettlebell sequence. Thank you for watching KillFit.com.